गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड इन सेशन वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेशन टू इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट मस्कीटो ब्रीडिंग एंड इट्स प्रिवेंशन चिल्ड्रन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ डू मस्कीटोज ब्रीड वॉट इज लार्वी हाउ टू प्रिवेंट मस्कीटो ब्रीडिंग डिजीज स्प्रेड थ्रू फ्लाइज वॉट इज एनेमिया एंड हाउ टू क्योर एनेमिया इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ डू मस्कीटोज ब्रीड चिल्ड्रन मस्कीटोज ब्रीड इन वेजिटेशन और इन स्टिल वॉटर दे नीड अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ स्टिल वॉटर फॉर ब्रीडिंग प्लेसेज लाइक अ फ्लावर पॉट रेन वॉटर पडल्स पॉन्स वॉटर कूलर्स एक्सेट्रा आर मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर ब्रीडिंग ऑफ मस्कीटोज दिस इज द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ अ मस्कीटो एन अडल्ट मस्कीटो ले एग्स इन द वॉटर द एग्स बिकम लार्वा लार्वा becomes pupa and pupa becomes adult mosquito children have you ever noticed tiny thread like insects in collected or still water those are baby mosquitoes now let's read about them larvae are baby mosquitoes they come out of the eggs which mosquitoes lay in the water they look like some tiny thread like gray things swimming in water that is why we should avoid the collection of still water around us we should follow the following steps to prevent mosquito breeding don't let water collect around you fill up the pits keep the water pots coolers and tanks clean they should be dried every week put fish in the ponds so that they eat the mosquito larvae use mosquito nets to protect yourself spray oil if water has collected at some place here are few measures for prevention of mosquito breeding in the first picture collected water is being emptied in the second picture the fish has eaten the larvae and in the third picture the man is spraying oil on the collected water to prevent breeding of mosquitoes like mosquitoes flies also spread many deadly diseases let us understand more about them diseases spread through flies flies spread diseases like dysentery cholera typhoid leprosy tuberculosis etc let us see that how diseases are spread through flies flies are easily attracted by filth they sit on dirty 
and filthy matters. Again, when these flies sit upon the food, microbes are mixed into the food and enter human body to make us sick. Children, that is why we should avoid eating outside food, especially in the open, because it can make us sick. What is anemia? Anemia is a medical condition in which the red blood cell count or the hemoglobin is less than normal. The normal level of hemoglobin or iron is generally different in males and females. Children, here you can see the difference between the count of red blood cells. In a normal person, the red blood cells are more and in an anemic person, the red blood cells are less in number. Effects of Anemia Anemia affects the physical as well as mental health of the children. Due to anemia, children do not grow well and their energy levels are low. This also affects their ability to study properly. To increase the hemoglobin or iron in the body, we must eat fruits and green leafy vegetables like apple, pomegranate, spinach, amla, beetroot, etc. Also, the doctor may give some medicines to improve the hemoglobin. Here you can see a clinical report for anemia of Arti, age 12 years, diagnosed with anemia and her hemoglobin is 8 and the normal range is 12 to 16. The doctor advised her to take fruits and green leafy vegetables. Also, the doctor gave some medicines. After three months, Arti's hemoglobin became 10.5. Conclusion Mosquitoes breed in vegetation or in still water. Mosquitoes breed in rainwater puddles, ponds, water coolers, etc. Larvae are baby mosquitoes. They come out of the eggs which mosquitoes lay in water. We should avoid collection of water around us. Flies spread diseases like dysentery, cholera, typhoid, leprosy, tuberculosis, etc. Anemia is a medical condition in which the hemoglobin or iron is less than normal. We must eat fruits and green leafy vegetables to increase the hemoglobin in our body. Children, here we end up our session 2. In the next session, 
we will learn about algae and a story of a scientist ronald ross